Hi guys, Charlie here from Sterling. Just here to introduce our 2022 range of four switch buck boost battery to battery chargers. Uh, we're doing a 12 volt to 12 volt 40 amp model. We're doing a 12 volt to 12 volt 70 amp model that would live somewhere in here. These are just samples, so I don't actually have the 70 to demonstrate due very soon. Uh, and here's the 12 volt to 12 volt 120 amp model. And to put the sizes into perspective versus our older battery to battery chargers, there next to the 40 is the old 60. And if you look at it in terms of dimensions all round, the BB1240 probably occupies about a half to a third of the volume of the BB1260. And in terms of effective output power, I had these on the test bench yesterday, you're getting approximately 630 watts on the output of the BB1260. And the effective usable output in terms of watts on the BB1240, yes, it's a lower number, is 550 watts. So 630 here and 550 watts here. So in terms of the amount of energy or power generated from size, from volume of product, uh, the BB1240 is far superior. Yeah, in terms of efficiency, i.e. measuring power in versus power out, you're looking at 95 to 98%. When it's bucking, you're getting about 98, 98 and a half. When it's boosting, you're down to about 95%. Typically, these things actually work under bucking circumstances because your alternator's voltage is often higher than that of the battery that you're charging up. So it's actually dropping the voltage uh, and then eventually the, the output voltage will climb up for parity input and output. But yeah, uh, 550 watts here and about 630 watts on the output of the BB1260. Now, the BB1270 that I don't have to show is about 950 watts or so on the output and then the bb12 120 is about 1620 watts or so on the output that those figures come about from 14.6 volts at around about the rating of the product so on this one for example it was 14.6 volts at 38 amps uh, which leads to about 550 watts um, now features uh, with the battery to battery chargers these new ones uh, we've actually reduced the complication uh, of the, the setup. We've eliminated all of the complexity involved in the, 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 the front um, display. And we've got it down to uh, several LEDs and one button. Likewise, down here, if you wanted to fit an ignition signal to it, which is what we recommend for Euro 6, there's a connector here. So the second one in, tighten it up. So that will operate as a normal ignition feed. Also, you can tell this is a sample because the, uh, the white inks come off a bit there. Um, just switch that on and off if you want it to be vibration sensed or not. Essentially, the vibration sense as, is as it suggests. If you activate it and you, your engine starts, you know, when you turn your engine on or when you start moving along, the accelerometer inside that detects motion, B2B starts up, starts charging, and then the opposite happens when uh, it turns off, whereby if it doesn't detect any motion, the B2B then goes to sleep. Um, so it doesn't start draining your start battery. It only operates when it detects motion. And it's not an instantaneous thing either. It demands several um, continual probes for it to get going. So if a car just drives past your car and it knocks it a bit, or a vehicle drives past your vehicle, and it, it senses a, a small motion, it's not gonna have much of an impact. Uh, the B2B won't start up and start charging. So don't worry about that. Right, so in terms of normal connection is as per normal, voltage in, voltage out, and then common negative. Uh, you can wire both the, the input negative to here and then the output negative out to the leisure battery, uh, or you can just uh, common up the starter battery to the leisure battery and then feed a thinner cable just to one of these connectors here because all the current that goes through here, if you do that, is just the differential uh, current, input and output current, the difference between the two. Uh, so that's, you, you can wire it up either way, doesn't matter. If you wanted to wire up both the input and the output uh, connectors uh, to the batteries and use that as the sole means of current flow, then you'd need to use same thickness of cable as the positive. Uh, anyway, um, what was I gonna say next? I was going to say next that the, that this, 
BB1240, so I'm just about to cough. <coughs> this BB1240, and it's unique to the BB1240 for now, is going to have what we call bi-directional charging or reverse charging, whereby starter battery connected here, let's say leisure battery connected here. If you're, when you turn your engine off and your leisure battery has solar or wind or another battery charger charging up the leisure battery, this unit will activate once your leisure battery goes above, you know, mid 13 volts, something like that. It will allow half the current rating of the device back to your starter battery to the tune of around 13.4 back on your start battery. It will essentially give a float voltage back onto the starter battery at around about 20 amps. So we call it bidirectional. You can call it reverse charging. You could call it starter battery maintainer, whatever. Uh, that's what it is. It, it'll, it'll work automatically. You can disable it just by pressing the button down for 30 seconds and letting go. Uh, there are ways of turning that feature off if you don't want it. But by default, the BB1240s will be bidirectional by nature. Because over the years, so many people have asked, how do I keep my starter battery topped up? And often we have to sell them an additional battery maintainer or a relay or some form of split charge device to charge back to the starter battery. But with this BB1240, you've got the flexibility where one unit will do the job of both. Now, it won't ever get confused for two reasons. One, the minute it detects an ignition signal, it goes back to one direction charging, i.e. left to right. Or when your alternator starts up and it goes above four, uh, 13 and a half volts on this terminal, it knows your engine's running and disables the starter battery maintenance feature and just starts charging from the normal left to right direction. So it's got all that thought uh, through, so don't worry about it getting confused because it won't. Uh, BB12120 and BB1270 are going to be unidirection, uh, uni unidirectional charging only for now. Um, and I think that is it. Uh, but yes, it's a much more simple uh, layout and much easier to use, simple to install. Uh, very, uh, it, the, the, the features on it are important and useful, but they're not overcomplicated and it's not uh, cluttered. So it should be an installer's um, paradise, really, with it, I'd say.